Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones Part 5. So we are still on episode 1 and we have to choose who we want to be our second in command basically for Ethan. And I asked you guys for maybe a little bit of advice and a lot of you said that I should not choose Sir Royland, that I should choose Duncan and I kind of do agree with you. I think Sir Royland would be... I don't know. I just don't think he'd be great at you giving advice. So... I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. I think I'm gonna choose him. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But Which is very true. only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, mm -hmm. but I have made my decision. So basically, Duncan is the one who will help us with choices, keep a level head, probably would be able to talk people around. So Royland is the, the, I don't know, he's the warrior, he would fight for us, I know he would die for us. I think I'm going to go with Duncan. I said I was going to go with Sir Royland in the first bit, but I think I'm going to go with Duncan. We're going to give the bracer to Duncan. Duncan. Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. I'm sorry, Royland. has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Yeah, you better not. I know that's what our dad would now, want as well. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. We got this. The Fultons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. Ooh. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yes. Go, Ethan. We got this. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Oh, mummy's taking over. Like the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Okay. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! This is hard. I think we should go with diplomacy because honestly I don't want to give away everything we have. I don't want to jump into a fight. We're going to choose to turn. My new favours a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Good choice. If you aren't ready for a fight. You're bound to lose when one breaks out. He is the only he one ready for a fight. His opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Oh, I love our mum. She's so badass. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Too well, then, right you are. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Oh my goodness. Let him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. 
Lord Ethan? Um, I don't want to anger Ramsay because I know what he's like. So I'm going to invite him in. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. <gasps> How dare he? Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. Oh, I feel we bad for Ethan. Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Unlike us. <laughs> he always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Oh. Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Ooh. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. That you is have true. many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I think we should have Asher. I think he needs to be here. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What Mothers family always needs. know. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm going to send him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Because I feel family is important. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Family is most definitely important in this case, hence why I kind of want our big brother here. Are we heading back to Mira? Yes, we are. She's in the Red Keep King's Landing. Right click to back out, okay? We're going to examine this strange key, apparently. Should we pick it up? I don't know. I feel like I'm stealing it. I don't think we should have done that. <laughs> um, I'm not going to take it. Sorry, but... Some of you are probably shouting, like, Take it! But I kind of don't want to. What was this? The family seal. We're going to pick it up. Why would we need a seal to uh, write to someone, maybe? But kind of don't want to deceive Lady Marjorie. Oh. Oh, I feel Lady bad. Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Can we apologize to her? Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. 
When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. I know. We've known each other for years. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Oh. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... We can talk to her. I can let her know that we do trust her. Oh god, what's wrong? She does not look her happy bunny. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you alright, my lady? She doesn't look like she's alright. That king kind of looks like a stupid question. Help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Oh, God. Nothing I said could cheer him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. I'm sorry, Marjorie. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. How are we going to help our family now? God, this I hate Joffrey. Things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Okay. Send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Oh, bless her. Now she's gonna feel guilty that she can't help. Poor Mira. My lady. Oh, is this the call boy? Begging oh. your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. Friendly face. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. He I was. I just want you to know, I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. What? I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now, and for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself, which is why you must trust me, my lady. You need allies. That is true. Hopefully, I've proven I can be useful to you. Oh my I'm goodness. Sorry. I I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who people who'd be willing to help you. Who's he running from? Oh, a guard. Do we trust the call boy? I feel like he would be one to trust, but I don't know. Why is the Game of Thrones all about lies and deceit? Damn it. It makes me not trust anyone in this game. What are you looking at? You cheeky bugger. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. Oh great, the don't tell me he's quit. Pride, more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Yeah, I'm confident. I'm not giving in to fucking Ramsay Snow. Ugh, just look at him. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roose Bolton, although a bastard. Lord Ramsay <laughs> has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no, of the... That's enough. I like how he had to add in that. What do you Who want? Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. This. Look at you. 
A token. Oh, don't like him. The new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Iron wood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our iron wood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> oh, not God, he's annoying. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. We won up them. Yes. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Oh, nice little brother. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. Oh, great. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Oh, I'm gonna do it. My lord. I don't want my head chopped off. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. He wasn't one of it us. It was her Forrester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One vault. Yet, your man... Oh, man. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh, jeez. What do you want? The White Hills will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. Oh, oh crap. The ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. <gasps> you can't How do that. How dare he? Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The white tellers have no such craft. Yeah, they'll be rubbish. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little Good point. point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord half of something is better than the nothing you had before. <laughs> Very I'm true. Sure there's no trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. What? I hate these guys. I feel like I can't say no because then he'll man you kill trust? me. My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. This That's... is our land. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not back off. Frightened. Are you? Step away from him right now. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. 
but like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just. Like <laughs> see what you did there, Ramsey. I see what you did. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come. No. Back. You can be my highborn ward. No. Oh, Ramsey, that's enough. Do you like hunting? You're not Let's taking go. her. She's quite pretty, your sister. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. Grab her. Oh, I should have grabbed her. I suppose you can stay. Oh, jeez, thank you. Aren't you the brave lord? Please don't take her. <gasps> oh, no! my... What have you done? Oh. But I don't want oh. the brave lord. Oh, oh my God. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! No! Even though you did bend the knee. Uh, oh, oh. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. He's what not. have you done? He's However, come on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Please. Take the boy as No! No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Oh my goodness. Lovely meeting all of you. He we'll is do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly. You brought this on yourself. I'm in Please. shock. Stop. Stop. Let, Brian. Him Brian. Stop. Let it go. Stop it. Help me. Brian. Please. Please. Stop it. Let me Brian. go. Brian. Do something. Ethan. I think Ethan's dead. Game of Thrones, why do you do this to me? Oh my goodness, I so wasn't expecting that. Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Let's see what they have in store for us next Ethan time. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Ooh, that looks like a good episode. So, from the first episode, here are our stats. So, me and 52.4% left Bowen behind. I apologise for that, Bowen, but... You would have been a dead weight. You and 73.2 swore loyalty to the king. Of course we would. Cersei is one scary mother effer. You and 19.1% took Eric's fingers. I actually can't believe that Maud didn't take Eric's fingers. Um, but yeah, that kind of makes me seem like a bitch. But I thought that's what most people would do. Obviously not. You and 61.1 picked Duncan as Sentinel. I don't know if I still agree with my choice on that one, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, but hopefully he'll be able to keep everyone calm and talk to them after Ethan's death. And you and 63.1 met Ramsay in the Great Hall, and I so totally wasn't expecting that ending, but I guess I should have considering it's Game of Thrones and you all know that if you play the game, you die. Pretty much. Your favourite characters will always die. That's why you should never have a favourite character in Game of Thrones because they will be dead. And yeah, I wasn't expecting that but it really shocked me. But then again, it is Lord Ramsay and as stated, he is a bit of a bastard, isn't he? But that's the end of this part. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. We are going to have to wait for the second episode to be released. I think it will probably come out sometime in January or February, probably February. So we have to wait for Telltale to release that before I can make more videos. But I hope you all enjoyed the first episode. I am looking forward to the second one. As you can see, Jon Snow was in it and he's one of my favourite characters. 
So I'm very much looking forward to the second part of this Let's Play. So thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!